morning guys and welcome to vlogmas day 11 so i'm getting out of bed gonna go downstairs have some breakfast have a shower and then i think i'm gonna work do some admin uh, stuff you know for youtube have a lot of emails to answer in the evening at seven o'clock dive and i are going to a concert of a lithuanian singer marianas bikutavichus i'm actually not a big fan of his music but my mom had two spare tickets and she was like do you want to go with diva diva loves his music so she was like yes let's go um, I only love one song, which probably every single Lithuanian loves this song because it's very meaningful to us. It's uh, Tris Milioni, Three Million, and it was created for a basketball championship um, because we are very proud of our basketball team and we are known for basketball. So it's like our second anthem. So I'm excited to hear this song live and well. We'll just have a good time, I suppose. And now I received a packaging from booksdepository.com, which is super heavy. And I know what it is. I've been waiting for it for quite a while. I am excited like a child to open this because it's gonna be incredible. Okay, let's rip it apart. Oh my God, oh my God. I didn't expect it to be this beautiful. Okay, so you always get a bookmark when you order from Books Depository. And look at that. It's a new illustrated Harry Potter book because um, there will be every single book released in this edition um, illustrated by Jim K. And it's so beautiful. I didn't know the cover was matte, so it has this rubbery matte finish and oh it's a very heavy hardcover book so incredible collectible for any harry potter lover these books aren't very cheap it's 35 euros i believe but i ordered it during black friday for 25 euros wow look at that that's hogwarts so illustrations of this are insane. I mean, I saw it in videos of other bookish YouTubers and I was, oh my god, I have to get it. The Boy Who Lived. So I'm currently reading A Hard Border and the Order of Phoenix, but I might read this again. The first book just because, you know, it's like a different kind of experience reading an illustrated one. And I love the first book. So yeah, all of the books will come in this illustrated edition. But I've heard that at some point the illustrator will take a break. Because I mean, like other books like Order of Phoenix are huge and it would take ages to illustrate. Wow, look at that! Dagon Alley. <gasps> How gorgeous is that? Flourish and Bloods, that's a bookshop. I'm just gonna analyze every single picture now. Look, dragon eggs. That's Hogwarts. Wow. Let's open my calendars now. Day 11. Where is day 11? Here. Um. Seems like a resting Santa Claus. Okay, day 11 here. Mm. Here we go. Oh, it's these tower ones that I loved so much. These are so yummy, guys. I wish we had those in Lithuania. Honestly, they're so, so tasty. And now Tanya's calendar. It's the one before last. Oh, I don't want it to end. No. <laughs> Let's see. Another lip gloss. It's a pink one this time. Christmas kisses are the best. It is very pink and very sparkly. And it's called... Candy Frost and it's most definitely going to my mom because she loves colors like that and I don't wear pinks, shimmery pinks like that so it's gonna go to my mom. 
that's what my breakfast looks like. I'm having three toasts, two with avocado and one with apricot jam. And a cup of coffee, of course. Yes, my rings are here, guys. Okay. Okay, so the first thing you get is care instructions and a bunch of leaflets. It's a little card. And here is the bag with my rings. So this is how it would look like if you were to get it in a shop. It would come in a really pretty bag. Okay. So these are the two boxes. I ordered a necklace from Monica Vinader a couple of years ago. And the packaging was completely different. So they have changed the packaging. Now it's really pretty now, I think. Uh, it has Monica Vinador written in rose gold, so. Ah, oh, so be- Wow! I didn't expect it to be so dainty. Honestly, I thought it's gonna be much more bigger. That's so cool. The lighting isn't the best on my bed, so I'm gonna come here maybe. So that's the first ring. It's a, a moonstone ring because I love moonstone. I think it's my second favorite after rose quartz. And I got it in gold. Wow, it's so dainty. Honestly, I didn't think it would be. I, and I believe the name is Vega. I'm not sure. I'm going to link both of these rings below for you guys if you're interested. Oh, wow. It's so, so beautiful, I think. I also got a rose gold ring. That's the one. Oh, it's also very dainty. Honestly, I thought they will be much chunkier. I'm really pleasantly surprised. It's so beautiful. Can't remember what stone it is. I think it's white agate or something. I'm not sure. Oh, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Look how shiny these rings are. And the stone definitely changes color. You know, it's a moonstone, so of course it has this blue sheen to it. It's so gorgeous. And I think I want to get more rose gold ones. I'm about to do my makeup and I want to do something more dramatic on my that's my boyfriend texting me on my eyes I'm gonna wear falsies for that we are going to a concert it's gonna be evening so I mean you can play up with makeup and these are the products that I've decided to use today so I'm gonna use my Bobbi Brown uh, stick foundation uh, these two products for my eyebrows Maybelline Brow Satin and L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper to set them. Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara, Makeup Forever Lift Concealer for my under eyes and Catrice one for my spots. Then on my eyes I'm thinking that I'm gonna use this Tiny Bore Pigment in Creme Brulee. This kind of uh, coppery one that I used in one of the Vlogmases. And I might use this one in Starry Night, which is a shimmery black as a liner, but I'm not sure. For blusher I'm gonna use Dusseur by NARS. And also for my highlighter I'm gonna use something more intense. And this is Shimmer Brick by Bobbi Brown in Sandstone. It's really, really intense, so perfect for the evening. These are the lashes I'm gonna use, not the other super dramatic ones. And then I think I'm gonna use my Dolce & Gabbana lipstick in Lady, which is really beautiful. I have some other lashes from Tanya. Um, and I think these ones are my favorite, the Everyday Flutter. They're like corner lashes. They're amazing. Definitely my favorite type of lashes. I have her individuals and those crazy ones.
So now the creme brulee eyeshadow is all over my eyelid and a little bit on my lower lash line. And now I'm using Starry Night eyeshadow on the Zoeva Wing Liner brush. So I'm gonna run this eyeshadow really closely to my lash line. It's so pigmented, guys. I think you can instantly tell the difference between the two eyes. The lash line is more defined than this one. I'm done with my eye makeup and face makeup and it's time to apply these false lashes. So I have my tweezers here with me and um, the glue that was inside the calendar that came with the lashes. Let's hope it's good glue. So I'm gonna Pull these off really gently and try not to rip them. These lashes are really difficult to get off, I'm gonna tell you that. I feel like I'm gonna ruin them completely. I'm gonna cut off one chunk of lashes because I feel like this band is already pre-glued it's so sticky. I don't even know if you need to apply glue on this. Okay, so I'm gonna let the glue to get a little bit tacky. My boyfriend apparently missed me so much. Sorry baby, but I'm applying false lashes right now, cannot answer. It's a really serious job. <laughs> I feel like this um, rubber band is too thick and too visible. The lashes look rather natural, very beautiful. But the band is not very good quality, it's really thick. I need to use liquid liner on top of the band to cover it. I'm gonna show you what I mean. Do you see that? That's my eye. Look, it's really visible. Okay guys, so that's my makeup done. It's really dramatic for me. Um, you don't really see me wearing such makeup because I don't love dramatic makeup on me. I feel much more like myself, much more beautiful wearing um, soft, everyday kind of glowy makeup. I use this Dolly Wink eyeliner, which is my favorite liquid liner, to hide the band of the lashes. And I do feel those lashes on my eyes, which is why I don't really like to wear falsies. I do love the corner lashes. I'm a corner lash girl because you, don't, you cannot really feel them. My eyes are pretty heavy now, so I feel like when I get back, I'm just gonna rip them off. Um, and yeah, as I said, on my cheeks, I have Douceur from NARS and the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick. And um, my lips are pretty intense as well. And today, I will also be wearing my new Daniel Wellington watch. I think it's perfect for an evening because it has those sparkles and um, it's a classy Sheffield watch I believe uh, I'm gonna link it down below and I do have a coupon code for you guys if you wanna get a Daniel Wellington watch for yourself and this one is black my other one is with a brown strap as you know so that's what it looks like on my wrist I think it's super pretty and the bracelet is so new the other one has molded to my arm and this one is brand new and shiny. My brother has come back home from Vilnius and I'm leaving the house. I don't feel like myself at all but I guess it's gonna be dark there anyway. So that's my outfit. I'm gonna wear this really sheer um, kind of burgundy top I got last year in Stradivarius because I feel like it really ties in with my makeup and uh, I'm gonna wear this Hara handbag, high-waisted black skinny jeans and black booties. And I just sprayed my Diptyque Eau Duel perfume and it's still wet here. <laughs> but yeah, that's my outfit. I feel really vampy. Um, 
and winter in this look, but I quite like it, so I better go. Here we are. Hello. It's gonna be a 3D, 3D show, 3D concert. So it should be interesting. Looks like if people are coming in. So the concert was really nice, even though I'm not a hardcore fan of um, Mikutavichus, I still really enjoyed it and uh, especially the most famous songs, it was really good and the show was nice, you know, the, the effects and stuff. So, across the street we've got Acropolis, so Dava and I are going there now, maybe we'll get some coffee or something to eat, I don't know, we'll see. We're currently shopping for wrapping paper, look at this one. As you know, I like anything gold and sparkly and this is actually a tablecloth, it's like a paper tablecloth. So pretty, I'm gonna get it. Um, let's see what else do they have here. Mm. This one is really pretty as well. But I have two of these. So many things. That means I don't need anything in Maxima. Finally going home. So guys, as you can see, I'm back home, back to my lovely bed and um, we enjoy the concert, as I told you. And after that we went to Maxima, I had a coffee, I had caramel macchiato and it was so sweet. I kind of have a stomach ache now, so I'm craving something savory. I'm gonna go and have um, hummus because I still have some left and then I got some crackers to go with my hummus. And, oh, by the way, look at those lashes. They look so cool from the side. I wish these were in my natural lashes. Um, Diva noticed them instantly she, as she watches my vlogmas. She said, are those tiniest lashes? I said, yes. Um, and I cannot feel them on this eye, but on this eye, I, th I think I didn't apply them properly. I can feel them. And the eyeshadow creased. You probably cannot tell. But then I didn't use any primer, so probably that's why. God, this stunning wrapping paper it's so beautiful i got some socks because they were on sale these are really nice i have the same ones in beige they're really warm 
And then these are the crackers I got. Never tried these. They're Lithuanian. Musu Kepiklele. Our bakery. And they look really cool. Savory crackers with garlic. I love anything with garlic. So, yeah. Gonna try those with hummus. Got my favorite tuna. This is sun and sea. Tuna in olive oil. Just to have on my salad. And then... Although I just got the vanilla, black vanilla tea, I saw this one. This is a new one by Lloyd, The Magic Experience. And I, I couldn't resist just because it has all of my favorite things. Manuka honey, mint and orange flower. Like, oh my god, this is so mean. It's like one of the best combinations in my opinion. I love anything orange blossom scented. Like all of my favorite perfumes have orange blossom. I love mint and I love honey, you guys know that. So I thought I'm gonna give this tea a go and I think I'm gonna drink this one tonight because I don't want anything sweet anymore so I don't want the vanilla tea. So I'm gonna have this tea and then crackers with hummus. And then the last thing I got is this rose gold lantern just because I thought it's so pretty. Well, maybe it's not really rose gold, it's more like a coppery and it was 7.99 but it was reduced to four euros it's from elements sense i'm thinking i'm gonna put it under my christmas tree and um yeah it's, it's just something that's not specifically for christmas you can keep it for you know all year round oh by the way look at my socks do you like my sock choice of the day these are like cat socks Lee. What do you think about my socks? He doesn't care about my socks. I don't really have anything else to vlog today. I just light my candle to make it more cozy in my room. There's not a lot left in there. Look, it's already midnight. I just made myself the tea that I showed you guys and uh, I'm gonna have this sorry amount of hummus with um, garlic crackers. These are really delicious actually. I like them a lot. I really feel like removing my eyelashes. So it's, it's pitch black in my room. Um, because they're starting to irritate me. It's like taking your bra off when you get home. Oh my god, my eyes feel so much lighter. So I'm just gonna enjoy my hummus crackers and tea. Lou is gonna keep me company and I will be catching up on vlogmases. A quick update on the tea guys, it's absolutely amazing, you have to get it. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and I'll see you tomorrow.